Hey everyone, welcome to Men's Essentials. Recently, Duke Cannon started selling these anti-perspirants and I wanna give a shout out to Andre Ayala Chavez. He commented on one of my shorts that I made about some natural deodorants and he let me know that Duke Cannon started selling these at Target. So thanks for your recommendation and comment on that, Andre. They made these new antiperspirants in various scents, uh, but my video today is gonna be about the Prescott, the Midnight Swim, and the Naval Diplomacy Antiperspirants. But before I start telling you guys what I think about those three, on this channel, I like to make videos about men's essential products, so things like sunglasses, watches, grooming products like these antiperspirants, and any other products that I think are essential items for men, please like and subscribe. All right, a couple of things I wanna highlight about these new deodorants from Duke Cannon. It looks like they're selling them at Target. And as I was doing some research, they're also selling them at Ulta Beauty, but only online. Ulta's only selling them on online, not in the stores. Target um, is selling them in the stores, but I ordered mine online. Uh, the other funny thing about this though is um, normally I get the marketing emails from Duke Cannon when they launch new things, but it seems like they didn't, you know, for some reason Duke Cannon didn't send an email out about these deodorants. And that's the other funny thing, these are not even being sold on the Duke Cannon website, so I'm guessing they had some sort of contract with Target and Ulta to sell them exclusively in their stores or online with them. And the other thing is that Ulta has a different option for these deodorants than Target does. Ulta actually has an aluminum free option uh, and Target doesn't sell the aluminum free version. The aluminum free version on, on Ulta's website has white packaging and the ones that do have aluminum, the antiperspirants have a green packaging. And besides these three scents that I'm reviewing today, they also made a sawtooth scented antiperspirant, a superior scented one. And it looks like Ulta is selling a bay rum scented one. I don't think Target has the bay rum version, but Ulta does. So I'm gonna leave links to both of these pages on that website so you guys can go see what, what the options are. All right, guys, so my favorite antiperspirant out of these three that I tried was definitely the Naval Diplomacy. Uh, and it's because of the scent. The scent is definitely the best one. Uh, it's got a bergamot and aquatic musk combination. The main scent notes for that Naval Diplomacy scent, as described from Duke Cannon, is that it's a light aquatic scent with notes of fresh water, citrus, and white woods. I actually figured out that I really like that. It's very subtle. It's not an aggressive scent that's gonna overpower, you know, any other scents that you might be wearing that day. Like if you're wearing cologne, it's not gonna mix with that. Um, it's just really nice and fresh. I think this is gonna be a great uh, antiperspirant to use throughout the summer. Now, if you guys have tried the Naval Diplomacy Soap, the scent is obviously gonna be similar to that. I just think that they cut back on the fragrance with this uh, deodorant. I think that in the soap, they just put a little bit more fragrance in there because it's a soap and it's not gonna last as long. But I actually like the fact that they cut back on this one because I don't, I just don't want it to be overpowering. Now the performance of the antiperspirant itself was really good too. And for me personally, it didn't fall apart. I've had other antiperspirants that seemed to get too powdery and fall apart. That did not happen to this one, at least for me. Now with any antiperspirant, you're gonna get white marks on your shirts. And one cool thing is that they actually used activated charcoal for this antiperspirant. I think the Dr. Squatch deodorants actually use charcoal in theirs too, um, but it works really well. I didn't have any issues with these Duke Cannon deodorants. All three of them kept me feeling fresh and smelling good. So performance wise, all three of them did really, really good. All right, so number two on my list out of these three antiperspirants is the Midnight Swim. I was surprised by this one. I didn't think I was going to like this one. And the reason for that is because I didn't actually like the Midnight Swim soap. I felt like that soap, the scent on it was just too common. It smelled almost like any other average soap that I had tried before, like, you know, the Old Spice stuff or even some Dove soaps. And I've gotten used to Duke Cannon creating some really unique scents. But this antiperspirant just had a better aquatic 
and green scent that's what they describe on the website and this one I, I don't know why i just feel like they did a better job of developing that scent in this antiperspirant it's better than the soap and again i really like that it's not too aggressive and it doesn't overpower any other scents or any other any other items that you might be using like colognes one other thing that i want to highlight about this specific antiperspirant for me is that it felt like it had more moisture than the other two the other two felt a lot i guess a lot more powdery and dry and that's not a negative about those two this one just felt like it had more moisture and just so you guys know the way i tested these out was by going to the gym and wearing them at work all day uh, they did a really good job of you know keeping you know sweat away and keeping me dry under my armpits all right guys and my least favorite out of all three of these deodorants was the one with the prescott scent which has a combination of um light citrus fresh oak moss and tonka now the scent on this one is based off of the prescott proper cologne that duke cannon makes i've never actually tried that cologne so i don't know how close the scent is with this deodorant. So if you guys have tried both of them, let me know if they're similar. But personally, I did not like the scent on the antiperspirant, so I'm guessing that I'll also not like that cologne, so I'm not gonna be trying that cologne. My main issue with the scent on this antiperspirant is that the green notes, I think the oak moss just comes in way too strong. It's not very well balanced. The other two antiperspirants were, were well balanced. They combine the scents really well, but on this one, that oak moss just overpowers everything else. And the scent is really aggressive, so I could actually smell uh, that Prescott scent throughout the day. It definitely overpowered my cologne. As I was, you know, just walking, I could smell the deodorant scent, that Prescott scent just... So I did not like that at all. I think if I liked the scent more, that, that would not have been a big deal. But because I didn't like the scent, it, it just, I didn't like it. I don't like it when things are too aggressive that way. And it's funny because on the back of the label here, it says it smells like the air over a dense forest, not a parking garage in West El Paso. Well, that dense forest is way too strong in this antiperspirant, so I would not recommend this one. The performance, though, was really good. It did last all day. My armpits stayed dry. Just like the other two, it, that part worked really well. But I really did not like this scent. But those are my basic thoughts about these uh, three antiperspirants from Duke Cannon. I'm a little bit surprised that they didn't, you know, make more of an effort to hype up these new antiperspirants or you know, to market them more. Um, like I mentioned in the intro, I found out about them because of a comment on my on one of my YouTube shorts, but I had no idea that they had made these. So I'm gonna leave the links for Target and Ulta to the page where you can look at these if you guys are interested. But let me know what you guys think. If you've tried any of these and you disagree with me, tell me in the comments why. But what I'm gonna be doing is buying the rest of them from Ulta and Target, and, and I'm gonna make a part two as a follow-up to this one. But that's pretty much all I had to say, guys. Please leave some comments, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.